Hello and welcome to part 2 of MCD level 2 practice test question and explanation. Before we proceed, please quickly subscribe if you haven't already done so. So question that we are going to discuss today says that an experienced API takes the JSON input and returns a JSON output as the response. And what are the two ways to shield the re current API request body from the vulnerabilities? And we have to choose two options out of the five. The first option is uh, apply SLA based routing. Option B is apply the JSON threat protection policy. Applies, uh, option C is apply OAuth 2.0 policy. Option D is define array data types as bounded. And option E is apply a client ID enforcement policy. Now, if you look at all the available options, then you will notice one thing that all these policies helps you in one way or other to uh, shield your API from one or the other vulnerabilities. They help you to secure your API endpoint. And hence, we have to uh, look at the question uh, closely and carefully because the question says that uh, we need to find, we need to uh, select the two ways, two ways to shield the current API request body from the vulnerabilities. So this API request body is a key thing to note here. So with that in mind, let's look at the options. Just a quick heads up, if you are planning for any MULE certification exam, then do check out this amazing practice test on Udemy, which are created by my friend Rutuja. She has created practice tests for all MULESOFT certification exams and all questions come with the detailed explanations that helps you to clear your exam in first attempt. You can check reviews and course description. All the links are provided in the description. Not only that, you can also get amazing discounts with the link that I have provided in the description section. So option A is apply SLA based routing policy. So SLA based routing policy is something that you implement when you, hand, when you want to have a specific throttle for a specific client. The way it works is that the client or API consumer would request an access for an API and as an administrator, uh, you will grant that request and while raising that request, they will select the tier that they want to get access to. It could be silver, gold, platinum and those tiers will represent a specific quota of requests that they are allowed to make to your API endpoint. So uh, in the context of the current question, Though this helps you to protect your API from any particular client sending to or overloading your API endpoint, it does not help from shielding the API request body from the vulnerabilities. Now coming to next, so the uh, apply JSON threat protection policy. So this definitely seems to be a good candidate for the answer because uh, the JSON threat protection policy helps you in specify the parameters that will uh, help your API endpoint from receiving erroneous uh, JSON bodies which uh, can make your API malfunction. Uh, the next is the OAuth. 2.0 policy. Uh, this again policy comes as a part of authentication policy. So there is an external OAuth provider uh, using uh, using those uh, scopes and tokens. Your API is going to get or the requests are coming to your API. They are going to get authenticated. So again, in the context of shielding the API request body, this doesn't seems to be the correct choice. The next is defining array data types as bounded. This again seems to be a, a strong candidate for the answer. The reason is that when you don't define the array data types as bounded or rather when they are unbounded, so that means the length of those data types could be infinite and that gives the chance for the perpetrators to send malformed requests to corrupt uh, your API or your backend systems. Hence, if you define your data types as bounded, then that restrict the size or it, or it kind of sets the max threshold on your, uh, in your array. So this definitely is a strong candidate. And finally, applying a client ID enforcement policy. So which means, uh, which is similar to this SLA based routing policy uh, with the difference is that in client ID enforcement policy, we are not checking uh, for request count for a specific uh, client. Rather, we are enforcing uh, the requester to always make use of uh, client ID and client secret. Uh, while sending the request. But essentially, again, this is an authentication policy and it is not useful for shielding your API request body from the vulnerabilities. So with these two things in mind, the correct option seems to be option B and D. Uh, let's quickly check 
mules of documentation to uh, just double cross check our understanding so the json threat protection policy as the documentation says it uh, helps you to provide this maximum container dev string value length object entry name length or the entry count array element count so it helps you to apply these policies on a specific api methods and resources or to a specific methods and resources and this way it helps you uh, to uh, to limit the size of your json payload and thwart the recursive additions to the json hierarchy hence in this case the correct options are uh, answers are option B apply JSON threat protection policy and option D define error array data types as bounded So that's it in this video if you find this helpful then do press the like button You can share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next part of this series